The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. 1330 WEBY, Northwest Florida's Talk Radio. This is your turn. A live call in show featuring spirited discussion and debate about issues that matter to the community. Stay with us to hear what Northwest Florida thinks. Better yet, call in at 623 1330 and tell us what you think. It's your turn here on 1330 WEBY, Northwest Florida's Talk Radio. Now, here's the host of Your Turn. You have now entered the Oval Office of Talk Radio for the Gulf Coast with Carl Gallops and Freedom Friday. Carl doesn't need a teleprompter. He actually knows the difference between right and wrong and the difference between common sense and political correctness. He is on a first name basis with God. What a refreshing place to be. Now, here's Carl Gallops. All right, welcome back, America. We're broadcasting live today from the Gulf Coast. 25,000 watts of broadcast power, WEVY 1330. Carl Gallup's your host, Mallory Bardwell, your world-famous producer. Welcome to the show. We've got a great show for you, great lineup today. Lou Vickery coming up in a few moments. Right after that, Mike Shoesmith, then Dr. Grace. And then after that, we've got Mike Zulo coming up near the end of the show today. Mike Zulo is a, has becoming quite a frequent guest on our program, but uh, we're excited to have him back today for two reasons. First of all, we've got some brand new breaking updating information on the Obama fraud case that you haven't heard anywhere else yet. Some things that are just happening today. And uh, also, uh, Zulo and I will be uh, going over the Zimmerman case and we will be analyzing it from a law enforcement standpoint. Most of our listeners know that I spent uh, a little over 10 years in the field of Florida law enforcement, six to seven years as a deputy sheriff in two different sheriff's offices. And then, of course, Mike Zulo has quite a bit of experience as well in the field of law enforcement as a uh, uh, street uh, patrol officer as well as an investigator. And, of course, now he is the lead investigator of the Cold Case Posse Sheriff Arpaio, Maricopa County. So as two uh, lawmen or former lawmen, we'll be analyzing what really happened that night and what is being said. And, you know, I, I really I wasn't going to say what I'm getting ready to say next, but I'm going to. Because now Barack Hussein Obama... <laughs> I think that's how you say it, right, with the, with the accent. Barack Hussein Obama has weighed in again. He, it's official, folks. Barack Obama is a racist. It's official. He is a racist. He is a race baiter. When our country needs healing, he brings more pain. He picks and scratches at the scab. When our country needs a word of peace... He brings words of agitation. Just today, Barack Obama calls for, quote, soul-searching in the Zimmerman case. National conversation. Then he goes on to say, now, back when I said that Trayvon Martin could have been my son, he said, now, he said this today. He said, what I meant was, is Trayvon Martin could have been me. And he says, I want to tell you how I recall being racially profiled. And he went through all of these scenarios, these typical, stereotypical scenarios of, yeah, when a, when a, when a, a white person saw me coming, they'd lock the doors on the cars. Uh, when I got in an elevator with a white woman, she'd clutch her pur purse. I mean, that's from Obama, the man that claims to be the president, on national news, using his bully pulpit, pushing racist stereotypes, agitating, aggravating black citizens, I'm certain, all across the United States, white citizens too, you're listening to one of them, it's, it's unbelievable. Now, he, he, he spent all of this diatribe talking about racial profiling. People, hear me. Mike Zulo and I will be on today. You will hear. You, listen, there was not racial profiling in this case. The juror said it. The people who were in the courtroom who heard the evidence said it. 
Now the alternate juror has come out and spoken. He said the verdict was correct. It was not about race. Bill Cosby has come out and said the verdict was correct. It was not about race. Charles Barkley has come out and said the verdict was correct. It was not about race. Alveda King, Dr. King's niece, Martin Luther King's niece, uh, it, she has come out and said stop the race baiting with the Zimmerman verdict. The verdict was correct. Jimmy Carter has come out and said the verdict was correct. It was not about race. I have told you, we've gone over the, the statistics, I mean the, the evidence in this case, it's not about race. Let me remind you on that night. I've got the entire 9-11 recording. It's on P.P. Simmons. Remember, remember when I told you about a year or so ago when that was put up there that, that YouTube pulled it down and flagged the P.P. Simmons site because we dared to put up the entire 911 conversation. You know why they pulled it down? Because that's when the news, it was NBC or ABC, CBS, I can't remember, when they were clipping it and editing it to make it sound like it was racist. Do you remember that? Now, it's my understanding that Zimmerman has a lawsuit against them now, now that he's been found not guilty, because they, were try they actually edited the 911 call the tapes to make it sound like Zimmerman was racially profiling. But the fact is, Zimmerman did not racially profile Trayvon Martin. As a matter of fact, the tape evidence proves that Zimmerman really didn't even know if Trayvon Martin was black or not. He guessed he was. That was his answer. It was the 9-11 operator that asked the question. Zimmerman never brought up race. Never brought it up. And then when he was asked the question from the 911 operator, what race is this male? Zimmerman said something like, I think he's black, or black, I think. Something like that is what he said. And, 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 and he said, well, why, why, why are you calling us? Because he's, it's pouring down rain. And I've never seen this guy before. I don't know him. And he's just standing in the rain. He doesn't seem to be making any efforts to get out of the rain. He's just staring. And then he said, now he's staring at me. He said, please get some cops over here. Please get somebody over here. We've had all these break-ins. We've had these, uh, these home invasions. Uh, this dude, I don't recognize him. He's acting weird. It's pouring down rain. He's just standing in the rain. Get some cops over here and check him out. Does that sound like racial profiling to you? Of course not. But Barack Hussein Obama came out today and went on and on and on about racial profiling. And then I learned this week that I'm a backwards, creepy crack a nigga. <laughs> That's what I learned this week. I learned that this week. Now, don't turn the radio off, and please don't think I've gone crazy. Most of you already know everything I'm talking about. But on, on Fox News this last week, Bob Beckel, the, the liberal in the bunch, he's, he thinks he's so smart, he thinks he's so intelligent, he called the state of Florida and the citizens of Florida two or three times. I read the transcripts. He called us backwards, and he kept trying to insert an ex expletive, uh, but, but the other people kind of over-talked him and talked him down. He was going to call us backwards something else. Well, I live in Florida, so I guess I'm backwards. And then, of course, we heard all this week Rachel Jantel, uh, Trayvon Martin's girlfriend, talking about how Trayvon called her and said, I've got this creepy cracker. Of course, there was an expletive in there, and I'm not going to put that in there. This creepy cracker following me. So she was on... Uh, oh, what's the guy's name from Great Britain? Great Britain. I, I guess his, his name's just escaped me right now. I was just talking about it earlier with somebody. But uh, he, she was on uh, CNN with Pierce Morgan. Pierce Morgan. And she was called in as their expert on uh, uh, lingo, you know, Ebonics and black lingo and modern lingo. So, so she was called in to give her opinions, and they asked her, said, well, what about this? Now, you know, Trayvon said that uh, Zimmerman was a creepy expletive cracker. Isn't that kind of racist? And she said, oh, no, no. If you take the E-R off of it and just put an A on it and call somebody a cracker, cracker see cre creepy cracker that's not racist that's what she said and he said well what do you mean she said oh no he says well who is a cracker and listen folks this is why i'm a cracker she said because oh just somebody that's a cop or used to be a cop or or thinks they're a security guard she said security she didn't know how to say security she said somebody that's a security guard we call them crackers okay well i'm an ex-cop i'm a former cop so i'm a creepy cracker 
I'm backwards because I live in Florida. Then they asked her, they said, well, what about the N-word? You know, you consider that racial. She said, yeah, if there's an E-R on the end of it. But she said, if you just put an A and call somebody a nigga, she said, that's not racist. And, they, and he said, what? And she said, no, no, that's not racist. He said, well, who would you call a nigga? And she said, well, anybody that's a male. She said, you could call a Chinaman a nigga. You can call a white man a nigga. You can call a black man a nigga. She said, that's not racist at all. Now, this is their expert, okay? This is Trayvon's girlfriend, Rachel Jantel. Well, I'm a male, so I'm a nigga. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a former lawman, so I'm a creepy cracker. I live in Florida, so according to Bob Beckel, I'm backwards. Now, the, now, folks, some of you, I know what some of you are doing. You're screaming at the radio right now saying, but Carl, Carl, these people are ignorant. They are not they, they, they don't know what they're talking about. They're wrong. And that's my point. They are ignorant, but they are held up by the left-wing media as the best they have. They're held up as the experts. Bob Beckel sits back like Jabba the Hutt on Fox the Five and pretends like he is just so brilliant. He's the guy that slung the F word out on live Fox television, and nothing even happened to him. That's the best they've got. Rachel Jantel comes on and, and explains Ebonics to us, and they all just ooh and ah and clap and laugh and just agree with her. Never call her down. Can you imagine if I went on CNN and claimed those things about Kraka and nigga, and I said those things? Can you imagine? See, that's my point. Well, we're going to take a quick time out, and I'm going to bring Lou Vickery on because he's a great guy, and he'll help bring a little uh, semblance of, uh, of balance back in this conversation right now. You can tell I'm mad. Only because Barack Obama interjected himself today, became the racist in chief, and lectured us about racial profiling and the Zimmerman case, and there was no racial profiling. The whole thing is a tragedy. I, I feel so sorry for Trayvon Martin's family, but there was no racial profiling. So in the meantime, I learned this week I'm a backwards, creepy crack on nigga. We'll be back in a moment. The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide.